Hello, it's Bob Cook here. I'm the uh, founder and clinical director of the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy. And if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in coming to counselling and psychotherapy for yourself. Uh, you might be coming back after doing some therapy or counselling before on yourself, or in fact, it might be your first time. Um, in fact, both uh, those steps require some courage to actually um, come to see a counsellor psychotherapist usually. So I thought I'd just talk to one of the um, therapists who work for at least two or three days, I think, at the Institute and have been here for about nine, ten years. So they can actually walk you through the steps um, and perhaps hopefully soothe your anxiety if you've got any uh, about coming to speak to someone. So I'm going to go introduce you to Carmen Burke. Hi, Hi Carmen. There. I you thought. work from this very room. I do, this Jersey. is my room, yes, here. <laughs> and what days do you actually come? Uh, I work um, in private practice here on a Thursday, Friday and also a Saturday. From 9 o'clock till, is it, or what? Um, yes, I mean, uh, working hours are between 9 o'clock in the morning and uh, 9 o'clock at night. Oh. So. Yes. A long time ago. Well, what I will say is that uh, because of the distance I live away from ah, the Institute, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't tend to start at nine o'clock. No. And you don't see clients one after the other. So no, I certainly about. don't. No, <laughs> no. Talking about ethical practice here, Bob, no, no, yeah, yeah. no the gap absolutely between not. Clients. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. And that also means that I'm not also rolling in money either. <laughs> well, anyway, for people who have not come to uh, counselling before, yeah. so they've had no experience of seeing a counsellor, stroke psychotherapist, and I know you're a psychotherapist, actually. I am. The, well, in many ways, we talk about therapeutic conversation. Um, so, what would your words be to somebody who's just thinking about coming along, they've come to this website, they've looked at, you know, what sort of things we deal with, like self-esteem, anxiety, mm. depression... And they're thinking about making the step to come and talk about their levels of discomfort. What sort of words would you say to uh, someone who was, you know, take to take this first step? Okay. Well, um, as you said in your introduction, I think uh, the majority of us, that is us being mm. the practitioners, uh, will recognise that it does need a certain amount of either fear or bravery to actually make that first phone call and what will happen is is that when you make the phone call uh, one of our administrative staff here um, that would be either generally Donna or, or Annette, Annette uh, will take your name and an assessment appointment will then be made yeah about half an hour that's right and then you'll do the assessment yes I do the assessments to and work it, you say it takes half an hour yeah yeah, and there's a cost of thirty pounds for that. Yeah, and it's really to uh, help me get an understanding of what the issues are mm -hmm. that the person wants to deal with. Yes, yeah. and the type of person that might be suitable to, for them. So because there's a matching process that correct. happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because half I believe anyway, half the sort of success of therapy, or perhaps not half, but a large segment of this is that they actually get on. Yes, well, they'll say the relationship is all Bob, so, you yeah. know, yeah, theoretically. <laughs> so yeah. so I, I then sort of match them up, yeah. uh, and then, of course, you can go on and see the therapist at um, a time which will suit you. Mm. Uh, most of them work in the evening, some mm. work in, well, like you, morning, afternoon, and evening. Mm. Um, but I think the referral system, I like to call it, yeah. where I refer on to the therapist counsellors are so important. And then, of course, I pass them on to you. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps you say a little bit about um, how long you work with people and um, how long you've been here. And, mm -hmm. uh, just so they get a flavour of... Oh. It's 50 minutes you do? Or is it I 55 do, minutes? Yes. I, I do a minimum of what I call a minimum of 50 minutes. Mm. So everybody always gets 50 minutes. Okay. And there are some circumstances possibly where it will go over to about 55 mm, minutes. Mm. However, thinking of what we said before, mm. you know, I do need a break in between clients. So, <laughs> um, uh, and it's, 
it's good practice to actually keep good time boundaries oh, okay. for for everyone in the room. Yeah. So um, when people uh, come to see me, um, obviously they'll be introduced into my room. Uh, mm. You know, I'll meet them. Um, Find out what they want. And certainly in that first session, it's about a very quick getting to know a you. A synopsis. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So in the same way um, that during the referral process, I'll really want to know um, a little bit about them so I get a flavour, and that's all it can be, obviously. Yeah. Oh, especially that first 50 minutes. Absolutely. But also, I like to give people a flavour of me. Oh. So I'll tell them um, the fact that I have worked here yeah. for uh, nine years. Um, other things that I do within my practice, such as training yeah. and supervision. Yeah, so you'll talk about being a gestalt Absolutely. psychotherapist and what yeah. that means. Yeah, oh, and I'll also uh, give them uh, my contract. I'll talk mm. about it verbally, yeah. however they can then take it away with them. Oh. And part of that because there will be some cognitive thinking, because I ask them to write down what they want from therapy. So, that, so there's a clear agenda? Absolutely. Great, great. Yeah. Great. So it's, it sounds a very structured process in a way. How long do people normally stay, do you think? I, mean, um, I generally work on a long-term basis. Mm, yeah. um, you Nine know, months? So I'm, I look at between nine months and several years. Yeah, I'm the same, and I know sometimes I work with people who might only come for three or four months. Yes. Yeah. Um, but like you, I'm uh, more longer term. Yes. Yeah. And do you find that people come with um, all sorts of issues, or um, is it more, say, people who are depressed and mm. got anxiety, or is it uh, people who got self-esteem issues or more mm. specific issues? I mean, mm. in your experience over nine years, um, is it a wide variety of issues, really? Yeah. Certainly, uh, my client base have uh, a very wide base of issues um, because of the work that I do and um, my interest in attachment and trauma and bereavement. Um, there will be several clients that I will see regarding those particular um, okay reasons for being here yeah. in therapy yeah. however yes I, I see all sorts of people regarding all sorts, sorts of, of issues, issues. yeah yes. I, mean, I suppose yes. so. and what about gender do you get more men than women or women than men or does it become sort of evened out over the years I have sure? always had um, a practice which on paper would seem to favour having uh, more men more men? Uh, as clients wow, than females. I'm very astonished. I don't easily hear that. Do you? Oh, how interesting. With me, you see it's the other way around. All right. right. So, yes, yeah, so you have you see more women than men. So yeah, that's and interesting. I, and in the referral system, I would say the ratio of women to men is probably two-thirds women and a third mm. men. Mm. Uh, in probably in the last three or four, five, six years, as the psychotherapy and counselling has become more popular, mm. there's more men coming in. So that's an interesting uh, yeah. observation yeah. that you have more men. Uh, yes, mm. and uh, within my practice, the same as within your mm. practice, mm. I also supervise, and although I have both male and female mm. supervisees, mm. I have more female supervisees. Oh, that's interesting. So I have more male <coughs> clients, but mm. I, and I have... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's quite right. interesting, yeah. Very interesting. Um, and tell me another thing, to do this job as a, as a psychotherapist, do you have to, um, is the training very long or? Yes, it's it's an absolute minimum oh. uh, of four years. Oh, right. However, there are many people that actually um, will take between six and eight years wow. between training and actually oh. So qualifying and being well, accredited. So it's a rigorous training. It's a very rigorous training and uh, certainly for all of the accredited courses mm. it would mean there'd be a number of parallel obligations what and that's that just not meaning Other you have to write 
it, yes, it's not just the fact you also have to write essays as well as wow. turn up for the training. It also means that you will have placements where you will go in and practice yeah, working yeah. with clients. Yeah. It means that you'll have to pay for supervision. It also means you that do your own therapy, perhaps. Exactly. And so uh, you've been around a long time, and you've been trained for goodness knows how long. You've been here for nine years, yeah. so they're getting somebody who's pretty experienced when they come yes. to see you. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And again, I think as far as my breadth of experience of working with different client mm. groups, mm. I think um, means that apart from if we're talking particular specialist areas, maybe psychosexual for an example, uh, which I'm not qualified to work with that group of people if they require um, psychosexual therapy. Um, I, I believe that uh, there have been few clients that, you know, and there always are some, mm. that I feel that uh, they would be uh, better working with someone else. Mm. Yeah, of course, I think that's yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank um, you, Bob. Awesome. I hope you found this useful, and um, I hope it's helped you in deciding whether or not you're going to you know, come to our institute. Um, uh, but uh, I hope that it's important. you've given a sort of rich flavour there uh, from Carl. So thank you very much. You're welcome, Bob. Bye-bye. Bye for now.